Hello YouTube Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper, and this video is a continuation of my playlist series here in the channel documenting the installation of an ICOM ID5100 Alpha Mobile D-Star digital radio into my Nissan Frontier pickup truck. In my previous videos I demonstrated how to route power from the battery through the firewall into the passenger compartment and then demonstrating how I installed two permanent NMO antenna mounts in the roof of the pickup truck carefully routing the coax over the headliner down along the door pillar so I didn't interfere with the airbag to bring that cable out at the center console in the passenger compartment. As you can see the radio arrived in the mail today. I took everything out of the packaging. I checked for damage, made sure I had all the parts, did a complete inventory, especially the accessories that I ordered. But before I do the installation of this radio in the pickup truck out at the retreat location this weekend, I want to get it ready. And part of that is the installation of the optional Bluetooth module. The part number is UT133, and I'll put a link down below. And here's the chip right here. And this feature will allow me to connect the Android tablet with the ICOM application to this radio wirelessly. With the handheld radio in my previous videos, I had to use a data cable. Well, with the mobile radio here, with this Bluetooth option, you can make that connection wirelessly over Bluetooth and you can use ICOM's VS3 Bluetooth headset without having any wires to get tangled up in the vehicle while you're driving. Now the instructions for installing the Bluetooth option are found on the full manual which you can download from ICOM's website on page 15-5. With the magic of editing, I'm going to go ahead and insert a screenshot of how this chip gets put in. But you have to take the bottom cover off. It's a total of eight screws two on each side and then four, one in each corner and the clamshell cover, the bottom half will come off. The chip actually goes right here, there's a socket here and a corresponding plug on the chip and this is a little bracket that holds it in place so you use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the bracket. The chip has to get tucked underneath the case here so it can fit inside the radio and then it plugs into the jack right there and then you put the bracket back on. The UT133 Bluetooth module is now installed in the radio. The front of the module fit perfectly into a little pocket that's under this faceplate here. And the brown plug fit right into the socket. So now I'll go ahead and put this retaining bracket back in and we'll get this radio closed up. Here we have the retaining bracket on the back of the Bluetooth module reinstalled in the radio. So the only thing I have left to do is put the clamshell cover back on, put the eight screws back in, pack everything up, get it ready for our trip out to the retreat location, and we'll finish the installation of the ICOM ID5100 Alpha D-Star digital radio and the Nissan Frontier pickup truck. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a short video of mobile radio prep for the 5100 Alpha and installing the UT133 Bluetooth option. Thanks for watching, guys.